So I've been making these aerial photographs constructed from the air using a helicopter as my platform for maybe 15, 20 years now. And as I make them, I'm thinking about how they're going to be presented all the time. Some of my collectors and friends would say, Tom, I, I have a couple of your photographs. I don't have any more walls. What am I going to do? I sort of said, well, what about the floor? And so the idea of carpets and textiles was born. You know, it's interesting. We, we put an order in for these carpets and we worked with the designers there and we finally interpolated my images into carpets and got the difference between the wool and the silk, which goes up, which stays flat, got it all set. And then guess what? The pandemic shows up and Nepal shuts down. But then along about, oh, midsummer, I get a call and say, hey, we can open up our factory again. What do you want to do? And I said, let's go forward. I really want to see the way these work. We had eight carpets in the works. And uh, we're talking and talking, and he, he just sort of drops casually that I'm supporting 40 families by the production of these carpets. And I went, oh my goodness, how can I stop? Keep going. A few months later, about, I'd say the middle of December, I start to get notices that they're done. And I'm seeing them, the finished work being done in Nepal. They're, they're washing them, they're trimming them, and they're getting ready to package. He said, well, they've finally cleared customs and they're gonna arrive soon. So I wake up and there they are sitting at my doorstep in Laguna. They're just sitting there. They arrived by the UPS guy and I unrolled them. Oh my goodness, it was such a wonderful thing to see the transition the morphing of from the image to the textile. I mean, these carpets are like taking that thing I've seen originally and putting it into a new medium. So it's morphing into another, it's a true abstraction. So not only am I abstracting what I see on the ground, making photographs, but now they're being morphed into a different medium of textiles and color and line. It's so much different. It's still the photograph, still the image, but it's being changed into a new medium. I'm really curious about where materials come from. Well, the wool comes from the sheep of the high Tibetan plateau and is sent to a monastery in southern Nepal where the monks spin the wool. And then the wool comes and the silk comes to the factory and we decide on what colors are what because they have to translate the color of the photograph, the color of my image, into something that can be woven or knotted. But then the important thing is the tufting. These tufting here, this is silk and this is wool. So it's really important to me that I didn't want it flat to look like it had been printed on a print machine. I wanted texture. And I didn't want so much texture, it looked like macrame. These are handmade, hand knotted in Nepal. They take about three to four months for each carpet to make. So once, you know, we've decided on the design, once the colors have been dyed into the materials, the stock is stored on shelves, ready to go, I stand back and watch, and watch this incredible craftsmanship of this work. First, you know, 100 knots per inch is very tight. So these people are like lined up and they can synchronize their movements. So they're, cause they're moving up and nodding, 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 nodding. So then when they finish, it goes to the trimmers. Then it gets washed. And then they have these wooden platters that they scrape the top. And what they're doing is knocking the top of the knots off. Then what they do is they stretch them between washes. They have these great things to pull it out and make it dimensionally correct so it doesn't go off one way or another and get it so it's pushed out and laid out in the, the Himalayan sunshine. Because these are handmade, they're basically one of a kind objects. Sometimes the translation changes and it changes my perception of the image itself. So sometimes the way in the 
color photograph, it, the sharp delineation of lines, it softened some of that. It kind of, it morphed into a different medium. It must be just an incredible spiritual kind of thing to make a carpet. I mean, you're dealing with fabric, thin strands of material, and nodding and nodding and nodding and ending up with a creation. And you're, you're part of that. You've invested, as, a, as this maker, you've invested your energy in realizing the image.